Now I'd like to show you cropping and masking functions. For the cropping and masking, we're going to start with this elbow x-ray right here. And as you know, in routine radiography, it is quite common for us to take x-rays in this fashion, where we've taken multiple images on a plate. However, I think it's important for me to point out to you that if you are going to do x-rays in this fashion, where you're putting multiple images on a plate, that you do use your lead strips to protect your exposed as well as your unexposed areas of your plate so that you avoid fogging your image with scatter. So now I've collected my image, taken my x-rays, I've scanned my plate, and I've got the images of my elbow on one plate. I need to send these off to the doctor, but I do not want to send them off to the doctor with all of this white stuff out here distracting the doctor's view. So I have two choices that I can do on this image. I can mask by using the user mask up here, selecting the three on one, and drawing the individual masks over the image, as in this example, thereby covering up the areas that I've collimated out, or I can crop. Next, I will show you crop. I'll reset to go back to the original image, select the crop tool. First, I'm gonna cut out the AP. Same technique as with the masking by drawing the box. Select OK. Now I have the AP as an individual image selected from the original. Closing the door to go back to the thumbnail screen, you will see that the original remains untouched and I've added a second image to my series. So I'm going to open the original, select crop again. This time I'm going to take the oblique, cut it out. I'm going to repeat the process, take the lateral, and cut it out. Now I have three images that are actually smaller than the original image when we combined the megabyte size of all three of those images that can be viewed by the radiologist as three separate images on one screen with the view multi button. Now this will allow the radiologist or the reviewing physician to window, level, magnify, and zoom on the individual images as opposed to viewing the three-on-one with the mask where when I window and level on one image it's actually happening to all three. Now this is a good masking tool but it only does squares and rectangles. So what do we do when we have a scenario such as the leg. It's very common to x-ray a leg on a 14 by 17 diagonally across the cassette. But when I reset this back to the original, you see the borders of collimation in this leg and will note that this mask will not be effective on this leg because I can only mask this in squares or rectangles. Well, the software gives us an automatic masking tool that will look at the images, allow the computer to assess where the borders are, and mask at an angle to a diagonal image.